Yes, Mr. Osama, how are you? Yo, how are you doing, CP? I'm fine, my friend. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Like all people in the chat, they're like, <laughs> they think I'm from uh, I'm Bin Laden or something. But like, I just called you not because I want to debate, but just because I have questions for you because I'm questioning my uh, my 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 current faith. Okay, what 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 made you question your faith? Um, like all the videos you're posting. My videos making you question you should love Islam more, my friend. Look at this cartoon in front of us. It's so good. Yeah, yeah I know, the man. And the I've termite been... they are eating the stuff of Suleiman. <laughs> I I know, man. And like right. there, there's a bunch of like superstitions and stuff like that. So. Yeah. So what, what? What? How I can help you, my friend? Yeah, I just had like question because like my parents, they're like, oh, but uh, we have miracles. For example, like. Uh, Let's say like Ramadan is like holy because we purify our body and stuff. So that makes me question like, is are those like um, uh, activities like really beneficial? That's why they exist, or are first they just all, a product first of, of all, like, Ramadan, my friend? People, Muslims don't fast. If you live in Islamic countries, you know that in Ramadan, Muslims they eat more food, and this is why the price of food goes so crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they eat more. You see. The price of any product is based on the demand. The more people they try to buy, it's the same same amount we have, and then more and then, more people like more they want more and more of it, and the price go up. So Ramadan is not really in the month of fasting. Oh, what the Muslims they do, they switch the day night and the night day. This is not fasting. Yeah, they eat like crazy, and you know that, and you know from your family. They even in Ramadan they cook the best food. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so what is, what is and uh, I mean, uh, it's it's uh, very funny because Ramadan is is the month where every family in the broken. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I remember. You know, I am I am from the Middle East myself. I remember yeah. how many families, especially from those who they are not uh, worthy, you know, uh, they you know, there's a tradition and etc. So they have to cook uh, good food, and everything is expensive, and the salary is small. So what they do, they borrow money. They borrow, 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 borrow. So by the end of the month, Ramadan, they borrow a lot of money and they will spend the coming six months just paying for the food they, they bought. So Ramadan is not a month to purify anything. It's the month of violence, actually. In Ramadan, the Muslim, they start, you know, they go crazy with violence. Are you there? I lost you, my friend. I think you moved your microphone. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, now I hear you, but it's slow. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm in Canada. I'm not like far away from. All right. I don't know if you're in the United States or something. Yeah, I am in. Uh, <clears throat> North America, yeah. No, I am in uh, Afghanistan next to Brazil. <laughs> but, because like, Muhammad, he uh, knew all the geography. Muhammad is very good in geography, in science, and everything. I mean, the Muslim, they made Muhammad as his God. He know everything. And yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Like, we, yeah, I know everything. I've been in this like three years. Yeah, and years each time so. we check, we find that it's not what they say. It's totally the opposite. And Muhammad was nothing but a fool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? What else, my? I can help you with my friend. And yeah, it's like you know, CP. Like it's really difficult to like break a, a cult. No, it's not difficult. No, yeah, because and, like okay. for example, you'll have it like for eleven years. You've been told the same thing. So my friend, it doesn't matter. Really, Okay. You accept, I accept, like, for example, your um, what you say right. and what you present in your videos. I'm, I'm like 100%. I agree with you. And I, even though I was Muslim, I was watching your videos and I was like, like, I was laughing, like, because you, your facts are so strong, I cannot deny them. Like, even if I wanted to deny Christianity, I would, like, be like, I would be like, not good in Islam because I, I would know all of the things you say. You understand? Like all the facts, but you see, it doesn't matter how long you are a Muslim. Uh, it, like, imagine there's somebody he is smoking for 20 years. Mm. So, what we we continue smoking until we have cancer? No, no, yeah, that's so, true. So, you know, it's not uh, uh, 11 years, 20 years, whatever you have, you as a Muslim, since you were a child, 11 years, say you are 21 or 22 now. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, now you you recognize that this is a stupid cult. So what? I mean, you just uh, throw it away. It's going yeah. to be stupid of you to know it's a stupid, and you decide to be stupid. <laughs> that <laughs> no, that no, is really true. horrible. But in, you know, 
is going to be more horrible than someone he do not know because now you know so why you want to stay just leave us now and say I'm out yeah uh, I'll just like have a last question for you like uh, CP if you don't mind all right um like they, they'll say like today was a very funny because my dad would come up to me and he'd be like uh, today is later later to cut I don't understand what your dad will come to you what and say that you know, today is the special night in Ramadan okay no, so, that, that's not true because nobody, yeah. no, nobody knows which is a special night. The little right? Nobody knows yes, which yes. one. Nobody knows. This is not, Muhammad. He, in the beginning, he says it's in the beginning of the Ramadan. Then he said in the middle of Ramadan, and then he said at the last day, ten days of the Ramadan. So Muhammad, he have no idea which day is that one. Live with it. And by the way, how one yeah. night, how one night, the night of Al Qadr, is equal to eighty-three years. Yes, yes, that's what he told me that's today. Crazy. So, so now I am spanking Allah for all my life and now I'm going to pray to Allah in this night and that will give me deed of 83 years <laughs> mm -hmm. I know because in the beginning of like yo CP is like saying bullshit this is crap and then I, I, I watched a lot of your videos and, and at the end I was like you know what this guy is actually right he's not saying stupid things and I even wanted to call you like I sent you a lot of messaging on Instagram I was like yo I'm ready to, to like leave and I just have like few yeah, I don't, questions I don't left. answer in Instagram sorry I don't answer anyone because there's too many people when I text me you see yeah. I only even forbid the Christians from calling me I don't know if you witnessed that but because if everybody want to text me it's endless so yeah. only Muslims who need help we we talk to them and you are one of them yeah, I know. so now yeah. what, did, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet uh yes yes that's I'm, wonderful I'm officially that's out. wonderful so uh, uh, uh your name is abdullah <laughs> osman 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 okay osman so you, you decide to leave islam today is that mm -hmm. the decision you made now or before you call me no no i made it now just i wanted to make sure with you like few questions left like right. concerning because my big concern is like you know everything we do I, because all those years they'll say like it's it has a purpose like the more you pray the more God forbids but I, I don't think it, I think it's more from the heart you know yeah well Islam you see uh, uh, sometime I ask myself God he created us and he gave us a special kind of uh, gift which is a brain not like uh, animals who they are programmed they are simple you know I mean a dog is a dog you know just give him yeah. something to play with he start jumping a cat is a cat doesn't matter what you do with her still she's a cat a human being is different so how a human being who God gave him a great gift to the point he can go to the moon he can see the stars he can uh, you know create a lot of things how he can believe in such a stupid thing yeah. so a, a human being uh, we were talking about mind control like a human being he reached in a, in a, in a, in a space where he feel like if he leave this space he will not be comfortable you know like if you are a person imagine you are a fish all your life is inside a small aquarium yes the aquarium have light have uh, you know toys but you know it's an aquarium it's not the real thing yeah and because you are afraid from being in the ocean you decided it's better to be inside the aquarium because you are afraid from freedom Mm -hmm. it's like somebody he was in jail for a long time and now you say to him after 50 years in jail I will let you go he will say where I will go what I will yeah go. he will feel like a bit lost yeah he will be lost totally lost you know actually mm -hmm. there is there is a uh, there is a uh, uh, like uh, 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 I don't know if you heard of it like somebody he can kidnap maybe a woman he kidnap her he jail her for a year two three four five and then even if he left the door she don't run yeah you know this is a control of the mind because he is used to something and he's afraid from changing it he is under control so a Muslim who is under the control of a cult even if he notice that this cult is a cult still he will be afraid of the change because the mm -hmm. change is kind of uh, what what this change will bring to me you know yeah it's it's a bit difficult in the beginning to to have yeah. that change but the change, my friend, is uh, is uh, is uh, is good, especially if you know that this is wrong. I mean, uh, mm. you see, I me myself, since I was a teenage, 
you know I, yeah. have, I have a friend who smoke they give me a cigarette for free I say no I, yeah. never, I never smoke a cigarette and they ask me what's wrong with you try it etc I said why am I try it I know it's wrong so yeah. some of us you know we try the wrong and we used to the wrong and then we like the wrong and then we believe in the wrong and then we want to convince ourselves that the wrong is the right thing to do and that is exactly what Islam is mm -hmm. yeah, you're right CP like uh, well my friend as long as you left Islam what about Christianity what do you think uh, yeah that's what I was uh, I was gonna ask you like um, mm -hmm. I have a few questions for you if you don't mind like I don't want like if you have time sure, to, sure. to, to, I'm have, I'm to here, answer my I'm questions to help you, my friend. I'm here like, to help you. Um, how do you actually like pray now that you don't do like rakahs all the time? No, no, we don't. You see, in Christianity, uh, those things are nothing to do with God. How to pray, what to say, because prayer is supposedly as a spiritual relationship between you and God, correct? Yes, correct. So, why you need to do a certain movement? I mean, you can do whatever you want. You want to bow down, bow down. You want to go down yeah. on your knee, go down. You want to stand, stand. You know, it's not what you do as a movement. It's how decent you are in your prayer. You know? Yeah. Like, what the benefit of a prayer? Like Muslims, they pray for the death of the Jews, the death of the kuffar. I mean, this is evil. So you stand, you sit down. Still, you are. You are. Even your prayer is evil. So it is very silly that we think or to think that God He accepts a prayer if we do it in a certain way. And if we don't do it in a certain way, then he will not accept it. It's mm -hmm. like a, in God in Islam is like a, a government office. <laughs> uh, he says to you, "Did you sign this paper from the department behind?" The... No, sir. That not... okay. Don't go downstairs. Go to the second floor. Ask for a guy. His name is Abdul Muhammad. Let him sign it for you. And then you go to the second room, the secretary, and let him put a number for it. And then go to the third room. And this is not God. Yeah. God is a person who is almighty he know what is in my heart he don't care about my move mm -hmm. so you bow down you stand up who care what he care for how truthful you are yes you know this is why Jesus he said it's not what make you know like uh, it's, it's not uh, what what you eat make you dirty it's not what go into inside your mouth it's what Come from your mouth. Mm -hmm. So it's not yeah. teach you the opposite. It is it is what go inside your mouth make you dirty. Okay. You know? Yeah, no, that, that, that's and right. here you see clear the, the wisdom of, of Christ. This is true. It's not what go inside your mouth make you dirty, it's what come from your mouth. That makes you uh... because if you if you eat uh, whatever, you know, and you speak good, that's what people want from you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we are not clean. I mean, uh, uh, you see, every sink, even if you take a shower all day long, you are sweating every second in your life. If you don't sweat, actually, that means you are dead. You know, yeah. <laughs> and you have a bad smell inside you. You have gas. You have dirt. You have poo poo. I mean, so how you can wash yourself? I mean, this is just a, it, you know, it's not really, it's not real. But I can accept <clears throat> that we, when we speak to God. We should, uh, you know, I mean, okay, you want to go to to meet a friend, and or you go to a wedding party, you dress the best of your clothes. All right, you get, yeah. you get it clean. Okay, so what about seeing God? So when we see God, we should not be dirty and filthy, and we should not be dirty anyway. We yeah. always be clean. So this is not about just seeing God. This we should be always clean. However, clean in a spiritual way is not what you eat. It is what you do and what you say. And uh, is it also what you believe inside you? Like, what do you think? For sure, because what you say should be about. You see, this is what Jesus said. It's not what you what go inside your mouth, what come from your mouth, and what come from your mouth is what is what, what, who are you? Uh, mm. If you if what you, from your mouth come is a lie, it's mean you are a liar. If what yeah, from true. your mouth is a is a is a truth, it's mean you are truthful. So it's your mouth you know make you who you are and for sure your mouth will come with an action an act you do uh, things you 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 behave uh, you believe everything <clears throat> yeah so Christianity mm -hmm. is totally different from Islam we, we, we don't have anything really to share you know
yeah. Muhammad he he focused in silly stuff because he don't want you to focus in the important things. Who here? I, I would hear like all the time, you know, from when you go to mosques and you assist to like what they they preach, um, they'll say like, "Oh, we're better because you see Christians don't even pray. We pray five times a day, and they'll be That's proud awesome. of that." Actually, nobody pray as much as the Christians because we as a Christians, we pray every second, every step. If you are a Christian. You pray whatever you do, you know, but we don't yeah. Jesus says when you pray go to your closet and Don't be like the hypocrites. So Jesus he forbid us From telling and speaking about our prayer. You see I never said hey guys I'm going to go to pray now Because mm -hmm. this is something private and the Messiah He was aware of the Jews at that time who pray in the corners Okay, don't yeah. be like the hypocrite. This is exactly what the Muslims they do yeah, you'll see them like in street and everything. Not only in the street. I mean, you see the taxi driver. He put, uh, uh, he put, uh, he, he he go in the top of the taxi, and he everybody from far away want to see him now, because yeah. you know. So if you go to Matthew chapter six, it says, and when you pray, don't pray like the hypocrites. This is this is Jesus' order that we should not do that. What the hypocrite do? They go. He said, the hypocrite who is standing in a synagogue. And on the street and you know because and the corner of the street not only in the corner because in the corner of the street like this street can see you and that street can see you so you can get mm -hmm. the maximum right so don't be like them so Christians pray absolutely we pray but we are not we are we've been ordered not to be hypocrite yeah Islam is about yeah. hypocrisy so a Christian would be praying like uh, every time of the day, like he'd wake up and be my grateful friend, to God. Like, and... I don't like to tell about myself, but before I start my show, I pray. Okay. You know, I I, I eat, I pray. Yeah. But I'm not going to tell my people what I say. This is private between me and my Lord. I drive yes. my car. I drive my car. I turn the key. I pray. All right. Okay. I say like, okay, Lord. I open the door of my car. I mention the name of the Lord. But this is not. This is. I'm not telling you this because I never said that to anyone. And nobody heard from all those who hear me uh, yeah. uh, what I do because we, we are not allowed to brag about. Uh, and you know, if I pray, still doesn't make you a good man because what if I pray but I do okay? I say okay, God, etc. And then after two minutes, I do something wrong. You know, so yeah. prayer does not prove that you are a good person anyway. Mm -hmm. It can be a cover up. For a faith you do, you know. Yeah, that's true. So you can be a child molester, but you, uh, you know, you okay. I wanna, I wanna be a priest. So now mm -hmm. people they trust me, and I can, uh, you know, they send their kids to me, so I can molest them like Muhammad. But he is a priest, yeah. mostly. I so, saw, I saw the hadith from your video when he said uh, he married a six-year-old girl. Yeah. So what I'm saying, a uniform does not present who you are. Because many yeah. people, Jesus said, be aware of false prophet. Many will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but in fact, they are wolves. So prayer, public prayer, can be a uniform, a, a clothes of a sheep. You know, yeah. Just to make you believe in something, to make you believe that, okay, this person is a good person. So, so you think they're good, but in reality, yeah, because okay, why why you want to why you are praying in front of me to show me? I mean, what what, what are you trying to do? This is between you and your God. Yeah, you know, it's a show time. So actually, let me let me get you the verse from uh, 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 from 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 the Bible, so okay. you see what Jesus says about that. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching the screen right now. Okay, I will show it to you on the screen. Give me a second, and actually, I will play an audio, so people they can see what we are talking about. All right. And after that, CP, if you don't mind, I would just like to ask you a question about, like, uh, you your book about the Quran and science. No problem. Okay. Give me a second, please. Matthew 6. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues 
in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut to thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Isn't it what the Muslim do? They repeat yeah. the same prayer five times a day? Yes, absolutely. You know, if you read this, as if Jesus is speaking about the Muslims. Exactly. They pray in the corner, they repeat, they speak too much about what they did, and the uh, you know the, everything they do is a hypocrisy even some of them they buy stones and they start hitting their forehead to make a, a dark spot in their forehead which means supposedly they are born down too much so yeah because we uh, when we were young they would tell us that yeah, if you have so, it you'll go to heaven so when they say to you we pray more than christians that's because of their hypocrisy no you don't pray more than christians what do you know about prayer you don't fast more than christians Christians, you know, we have 40 days fasting before Christmas, 50 days fasting before Easter. That's alone. And there's days in the weeks to fast. So if you calculate the numbers of how many days Christians they fast, if they are practicing, and fasting is not a must, it's a choice. You see, it's not a must because everything should be a choice. Mm -hmm. Anything you do because it's a must, it mean there's there's no reward for you. Imagine I force you to visit me. You don't want yes. to see me because you like to see me. You come to see me because I forced you. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. So what the point? I reward the person. I reward the person. Let us say I have two sons. One of them he call me every day, and one of them he call me once every year. Yeah. By that, I know they are free. Who want to call me? Who don't want to call me? I know who care for me. I know who don't care for me. But I force both to call me five times a day. How I will know which one of them is the liar? Yeah, you know me. I'm forcing them. You know? Mm -hmm. He says, it's not, it's not, uh, he don't want to force us. He want, he want decent. He don't want hypocrites. So if you give with the right hand, don't show the left hand. If you pray, go to your closet. Don't do what they do. Stand in a synagogue and show everybody that you are pray you know, you're a person who pray. If you pray, go to your room, close your door, pray secretly. Not only he said to pray, he said to pray secretly, which means don't tell everybody, even the house you are in, I'm going to pray secretly. Because yeah. this is something spiritual and this is something private between you and your Lord. And there's no timing for prayer. For God is there all the time. So... What were the? I know you in uh, one of your videos talked about that the savings. Do they pick all those things from the savings? Sorry again. What from what? Uh, your video about the the savings. Sabian, yeah. Yeah. Do they pick all these? Uh, well, the Sabian, the Sabian, they celebrate Ramadan, and they celebrate the moon. You see, if you go in the Quran, the problem is most of people they don't speak. I don't know if you speak Arabic. Do you know Arabic? Yes, yeah, but um, I don't read it very well, but I can read it and I speak like. Uh, yeah, so the Quran, even they say that uh, when when uh, when you read the Quran, as an example, is speaking about Ramadan, and the Quran says Shahru Ramadan, correct? Yeah. Chapter two, verse number one eighty-five. Do you know what Shahr mean? Uh, uh, the month. No. Oh, not even. No. You see, this is a translation. It says the month of Ramadan. The fact the word shahar is a word mean the moon. Okay. Shahar is a moon, even in Hebrew. Okay. Uh, I, I thought it, it meant uh, the month. No, but... it's it meant a month because the moon is a month too. So, like, how they measure their month by the new moon. <laughs> okay. You know, <laughs> so by time the word shahar now they use it as a word a month, but in fact yeah. the word shahar. In the time of Muhammad, it was a moon. So when the moon of Ramadan come, why? Because the Sabian they, they believe that uh, the moon disappear, and then he appear, a new moon will appear in a new town. So what they used to do, they start fasting in this town in Haran, 
and they go to a new town close to it uh, to welcome the new moon and that is the end of the fasting month this is why you see in the Quran it says al ahilla okay you know what ahilla I really don't know ahilla is the crescent moon okay the crescent moon you know oh we we in Moroccan they call the hilla Chapter two, verse one eighty nine. It says, "Wajas alunaka anil ahilla." You see, okay. look what it says here. This is the Muslim translation. Yeah. They ask yeah. thee of the new moon. Al ahilla is the same word, but in the moon, like it's a, uh, you know, the uh, al ahilla is is the crescent moon, but supposedly this is a new moon. And actually, here in the translation, even they say the new moon. I don't know if you see my screen. Uh, you, you're at before you ask him. They ask, they ask thee, Muhammad, of the new moon. Do you see it? Uh, maybe uh, I'm at like a verse eight. Do not leave. Okay, okay. No, I see. Maybe there's a delay from your side to yeah, see it. There's a, there's a delay. Sorry. So here, actually, it's not just a new moon. It is the crescent moon. If we change the translation, let us see. Okay, I see you zoomed like they ask the O of new moon. Yeah, say, the new moon, you see? Yeah, you see it. I will change the translation and you will see this is the crescent moon specifically, not the new moon only. So the crescent moon is the new moon. So the Muslims they start in a certain time and they end in a certain time, and that is about the look of the moon. Why the look of yeah. the moon? Because it's a new moon. The old moon and the new moon. So the moon of Ramadan is a different moon. Let us change the translator. This is Hilali Khan. Let us see. Uh, Arbery. New moon. This guy, new moon. Let us see which one is more accurate. Yeah, all of them, they are new moon here. But it should be the crescent moon, not the new moon. Uh, let us see. Shaker. Uh, new moon too. All of them they are coming with the new moon. Let us see. Maybe we'll find one of them is decent. Mm -hmm. Let us see Yusuf Ali. See Yusuf Ali saying the new moon too. But the correct translation should be the crescent moon, not not this. I'm trying all the translation there. Maybe we'll find someone new moon again. <laughs> Look like they are copying each other. <laughs> yeah, I think they are not translating. I think they are just copying. Uh, because there's no way all of them they are coming with the same translation, not even one of them coming with the correct one. Yeah. Here we go. Look at this. This guy. Look what he said. Look how many translation we have to change to come to the correct translation. They ask you, Muhammad, about what? The persons. Concerning. I wait. I think I'm a bit delayed for you. The crescents, yeah. I... But how many translation would change to come to the accurate one? And how, if I don't speak Arabic, how I will know which that the, all of them they are liars, you know? So it is a new moon, yes, but it is a, exactly because a new moon. What a new moon? I mean, this is a new moon. It is the crescent moon. So a new moon is a, the crescent moon, not just a moon, and that make a difference. So why you don't say what it is? Because simply Muhammad is saying what is the ahilla for Allah he created the crescent moons for a reason it is yeah. to make the time for people to pray and to do hajj and to do fasting so this is what the duty of the crescent moon so Muhammad he have uh, uh, he is copying from the Sabian their belief that the crescent moon is a new moon so he disappear here he appear there yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. Actually, if you go, there is a videos on YouTube. You can watch yeah. how the Sabian and they do ablution, and you will see Muhammad. He do exactly like the Sabian. Yeah, exactly. I saw. I saw the video, and that really made me like 
I was like, what the hell is happening here? Yeah, he copied exactly from the Sabian. He, the same way the Sabian they do, exactly. You know, like and not only that, the, one of my Christian friends showed me. Not only that, you see, but the there is the Sabian, the Christians, joined the Baptist. Uh, they they were practicing baptism. Baptism. So the Sabian they have their own baptism. The Christian they have their own baptism. Muhammad, he did not take baptism of the Christians. He took what it's called Sibara. What Sibara? Sibara is the baptism of the Sabian. This is what they call it. They don't call it baptism, they call it Sibara. If you go in the Quran, you will find Muhammad even saying that the one, the best one who do baptism is Allah. For Allah is a Sabian. Allah is the God of the Sabian. Okay. That's just uh, I'm reading the screen at the same time, so I will try to uh, find the verse. All all roads take us to Rome, my friend. Islam is false. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You will notice that this conversation is endless, will take us forever. Chapter 2, verse 138, it says, Our Sibara, and the Muslim, between with two brackets, our religion. But this is false. This is Sibara, is a baptism. And look at the translation, how horrible. Our Sibara. Let us change the translator and see how things will change. This is Al, what his name? I don't know. Let us go to Hilali. Well, Hilali is saying the same. Okay. Let us see. Uh, big tal. Yeah, you see, this is the problem with Muslims. You have you have to play the game they play of translation. Mm -hmm. Look, you see what the word sibara turned to be? Coloring. Coloring. Do you see it? Yeah, we take our color from yeah, but why they are saying coloring because the stupid translators didn't know that Sibra and Sibara is something have to do with the uh, Sabi and baptism. This is what they call it. So when somebody get baptized according to the Sabian, he had a new coloring, a new color, he is a new person. But by color, not by uh, not like the Christian spiritual thing. So a new coloring, and the new coloring is uh, is like you know you put something uh, close in the water, and you add color to it, yeah. And then you will have a new color, and that is the color of the God. So Muhammad here he copied from the Sabian, and in different translation you will see even they say baptism. Just change the translator, you will see the word coloring change to bap the baptism. It is seen Sahih International. And say, ours is the religion of Allah. <laughs> Look at translation. <laughs> I mean, this translation is funny. Uh, unbelievable. What? Look at the translation. I mean, it's horrible. You have to flip all over to find a translation which can be decent. Unbelievable. Color. <laughs> color. It is not color. It is baptism, but the baptism of the Sabian. Let us see. Big uh, uh, Did we try Big Tal? I don't know. Is it trans really try ch changing? Let us see. I mean, I think all of them they copy each other. Nobody want to use his brain, or I don't know even <laughs> if they speak Arabic. Here we go. Look at this guy. See, suddenly it changed. It's our baptism. The baptism of Allah, and who can do better baptism than Allah? Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. We see the baptism of Allah, and who is better than Allah in baptizing yeah, but, in Hindu history? But, but Muhammad never practiced baptism, so how that can work? So what Muhammad he claimed, because he is in the beginning he was a Sabian, 
he claimed that Muslims they do not need baptism by water for Allah he baptized you and the reason mm -hmm. Muhammad he come with this uh, fabrication because he claimed uh, uh, whatever he claimed I mean nobody can challenge him same time he didn't know how to do it I mean this is something the Sabi and they do and uh, he don't practice it he did not know what it is but he knew the Sabi and they do baptism so Muhammad he come he have to come with something similar so he said okay we have baptism too but we have the baptism of Allah and because so he would just take things of other people copy from everybody and because he is a person who live in the desert which water is not all over where he's going to do baptism to you Sorry. so there's no river there's nothing so okay the baptism is baptism of Allah take it short no mm -hmm. yeah. so, so, uh, so what do you think Us uh, Usman about accepting Christianity yeah I I, I think I'm uh... I'm absolutely uh, accepting. So you accept the Lord, the Messiah, as your Lord? Yes. All right, that's wonderful. I'm really happy for you, my friend. Thank you. But do you really believe, or you're just saying that? You no, know, I really do. Like, I, I, I was, I'm not calling you, like, the first time. I, I, I was watching your videos a long time ago. So you believe it your, took, It actually you took me a while to consider this. everything, and I was already accepting. I just wanted to call to just... Talk with you. That's wonderful, my friend. Because remember, Christianity is not the same as uh, the cult of Islam. You know, you say shahada and that's it. You cannot fool God. You cannot, you cannot fool. You cannot bribe. You cannot lie to God. So mm -hmm. never say I believe unless you believe. No. Yeah. Don't say I believe to make somebody somebody happy. Don't say believe. I believe just to make yourself happy. Mm -hmm. Just say what you believe because you cannot. Even now you say, are you believe in Jesus? If you don't believe, still you are not a really a believer. I'm just telling you, you know. So you really believe from your heart that the Messiah Christ is your Savior? Uh, can you repeat something? Because you do, you, you do, like... you, do you really believe from all your heart that the Messiah is your personal Savior? Yeah, I really do believe it. Uh, I, mean, I mean, do you believe in that in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Yes. Do you believe in the death of the Messiah and his resurrection? Yes, because he like purged all of our sins. Do you believe that he is coming back? Uh, yeah, at the end of the our, our days. Well, my friend, your Lord, your Savior, he will be happy to have you. And the, the Bible says, a happiness will be in the kingdom of God. Rejoice will be in the kingdom of God for one soul is coming back to him. So I'm really happy to have you today, and everybody, you. everybody, all the Christians there, they are so happy to see that uh, Osman, he left Islam and he decided to accept the Messiah. Do you have any questions about Christianity? You want to know? Uh, what's your um, like? I know I'm going to read like even more to understand, but uh, uh, what's your thought, um, CP, on uh, death? Sorry, is that again? Uh, what's the, what's your thought on the death? What happens like because you know in Islam it's like paradise and you get uh, like rewards and stuff, but I know it's not that. Oh, you mean after death, like in heaven, what we will have as a reward? Yes, yes. Well, no, the, like uh, what, what what will happen? Yeah, the Messiah he says he and she they will not get married, which means there's no sexual relationship in heaven, mm -hmm. for we will be the same as angels. And you know, always when you read the words of the Messiah, you have to think deep. Don't just take it from uh, like a uh, as words and that's it so when he say because they will be the same as angels you see what angels about angels are creatures made of light they have no needs no food they don't get tired they don't get sick they are happy and then uh, we will be the first thing the Lord he grant us our freedom we will be the same as angels in Islam is the opposite you will be addicted to sex addicted to food and you, you used to have sex once maybe a day or every two or a week in the earth or in the heaven of Allah 24 hours seven days a week having sex you used to eat a little bit in the earth in the heaven of Allah you are doing nothing but eating and sex and he promised you bracelet gold silver all of this is satanic Christianity promising you happiness which nobody can describe for it's have nothing to do with gold you see, anything physical is temporary. Sex mm. is something temporary. So you might get uh, 
uh, a pleasure for some time but still it is temporarily if God is the one who created whatever happiness we have can God create something better or do you think something better than what we have in better earth? than we have in earth for sure he can right yeah yeah so why why the Quran limited to, to, to sex and food and sandwich and birds what is that so God who created us he can grant us happiness which we never saw like before since when mm. happiness is about the food we eat so if God he created this little tiny cells in our tongue which is connected to our brain to make us taste and enjoy food can God make us taste different kind of joy have nothing to do with food absolutely he can so Christianity does not focus in the belly and the stomach and the private part Christianity focus in different kind of happiness because you will be the same as angel your happiness is noble your your happiness is high your 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 happiness fit with the house you live in which is the house of God so because we will be with God and the Lord he will be with us our rejoice will be from his rejoice so something you cannot explain and you cannot um, give example of it because yeah. it's beyond uh, 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 what we can explain so what Christianity is about is not about God will give me a bracelet like the Quran or a couch or a pillow which is very silly Christianity is about being with God alone is a new life just being there because you will be a new creature a new creation you will be a different person so Islam describe happiness based on a garden a bunch of guys sitting with women having sex drinking wine river of wine I mean even wine is river not in not in not in Baal no more so <laughs> uh, 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 it's an extreme temptation of the physical needs not nothing spiritual even Muslims in the heaven they will not even pray there's no prayer Christians in heaven they will be rejoicing with the Lord which means everything they say is the same as a prayer but it's happiness this is something they cannot describe so we cannot really compare between what you will have in the heaven of Muhammad and what we will have in the true heaven of the Messiah for we have nothing to share yeah and you know look if you look at this verse as an example chapter 18 verse number 31 Allah promised you that in the garden uh, you will have the bracelet from gold and you will wear a green garment made in Iran, in Persia. I mean, what kind of God this God is? <laughs> I will go shopping to the mall and come back with those right now. <laughs> I can get the bracelet from gold. I can get a green garment from silk. I will order from Amazon. Take, take me 24 hours to have it. And a couch, even couch, even pillows, you know? So mm -hmm. uh, we cannot compare. You see, when you believe in the Messiah, Forget everything you learned about Muhammad. It's just a stupid cult. Happiness, yeah. happiness in Christianity is different happiness. God in Christianity is different God. Decency is different decency. You see, when Muhammad he says uh, adultery is forbidden, but then he allowed you to change your wives every few days, even the same day you can divorce as many as you wish. And then he mm -hmm. allowed you to do muta. And then, I mean, what is decency? You say there's no adultery, but yet you are you you what he did, he just gave adultery different names to legalize it. Zawaj yeah. Urfi, Zawaj friend, all of those they are called Zawaj, Zawaj al Muta. They are they are called marriage, but in fact they are not marriage. They are just sexual relationship. This is why a Muslim man he marry any woman, any anyone, even doesn't matter who you are, because all of him is just uh, it's just sex. It's a it is just sexual. There's no marriage. In Christianity marriage now you became a Christian I you know I advise you to go to church mm -hmm. and the, you, you should learn the Bible and educate yourself and then when the moment is ready you should do baptism and the reason I say to you you should do baptism because baptism will make you always you know like uh, you just devoted yourself to be Christian baptism is like uh, I now announce myself not only by words by action that I am a new person and the Holy Spirit will be always with you So I advise you 
to find some Christian friends. And uh, if you don't have, uh, <clears throat> maybe I can find you some in your in where you live. And you can go to churches and you can learn the Bible. You can read. Uh, and then when it's time, when you feel it's time for you already, uh, you should do baptism. Okay. And I wish I am close to you. I will do baptism to you by myself. At the end of the day, it's not the priest who baptizes you; it is God Himself who baptizes you. Okay. The, the the Christian who baptizes a, a, a new Christian, he is just a witness for the Holy Spirit coming and being with you. So we are just witnesses for an amazing event where you receive the Holy Spirit, which means the Spirit of God, to accompany you to eternity. Not only you die. So this is something very important to do. And I encourage you to do it. But as I said, when you are ready, read the Bible, be you know, get closer to the Lord. And when you feel this is it is time to do it, but you should do it. All right. But you are the one who make decision when you should do it. Yeah. All right. Yes. Anything else, my friend? <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you. Um, I had one last question because this one is a more funny one. Because uh, I know you know like a lot of, uh, you, know, uh, you wrote uh, your book about the, the science and the, the crime. Yeah. And uh, I heard recently from uh, one of my family members that uh, the speed of light was written in the Quran in some way. Hmm. And so I, I, I thought it I was very fun. I wanted to know what to, okay. what's your thought on this and what do you know about this? Yeah, I made a video about it just, I think, two days ago, correct, guys? I think two days or three days ago speed of the light so if you watch a previous video if you go to patreon um maybe two uh, if somebody can remind me if, if somebody can give him the link in the chat please so he can watch it we spoke about this this is a false what speed of light because if the speed of the light is the speed of the angels that would be funny because that means we know where allah located and if in 1000 light 1000 uh year uh we can reach the location of Allah. That's mean Allah is inside the Milky Way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's really funny because supposedly Allah is above all the seven heavens. So same time, uh, the Muslims when they try about the speed of light, uh, if the, if this is the speed of the light and Allah is light, that's mean Allah is limited to His speed too. Yeah, isn't it? The Quran says that Allah nurus samawati wal ard. Allah is the light He's a light so if the Quran by the way never spoke about the light speed spoke about the angels going down and going back uh, uh, in a day to Allah equal to 1000 year for us but that would be a problem for Muhammad why because if Muhammad received the first verse today that's mean the angels in order to give him the second verse they have to come back after 2000 years you know what i mean because yeah, they're going they're to heaven they're... coming back one day to yeah. allah is 1000 to us okay wonderful so now in order to go there they need 1000 years to go in order to come back they had need 1000 years to come back that's mean if muhammad receive a message today angel jibreel he should come back to him 2000 years after Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is stupid. Secondly, if the light speed is what is the speed of the angels, then how Muhammad he went to the seven heaven with the angel in one night? Yeah, that doesn't add up. Do you remember the story when Muhammad he went to the seven heaven? With the, yeah, with the, the Jibreel? Yeah, Jibreel he took him there. Okay, so uh, uh, when Jibreel he took him. To breed is an angel, and he have the speed of the light. Okay, yes. so if it take one thousand year to go to Allah, how Muhammad he went with the angel Jibril, who have a speed of light, which is mean limited speed, in yes. one in eight hours and come back. No. You see here the story in front of us. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih mm -hmm. Muslim. So Jibreel he came, he took him, he washed his chest, 
he cut his uh, etc he washed it with zamzam and then he took him up to the heaven he took him to the first gate second gate third gate all seven gates so the speed of light is the angel speed how in eight hours the angel in the speed of light was able to go to the seven heaven to the end of the world and come back <laughs> <laughs> you know go do a little study about how far some galaxies from us and you will laugh at this mm. eight hours is not enough even to pass nothing you know nothing what eight hours of light speed light Muhammad in eight hours he went to the seven heaven to which means to the end of the world not only to our galaxy to the end of the universe where Allah he live where there's the tree of Allah as you see here first gate second gate third gate seven gates so he passed seven heavens and all of those in a few hours it's a stupid mm -hmm. you know and this is the hate I will post it for you in the chat so you can read it later. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm reading when. Yeah, you can read it later if you want. Okay. Anything else, my friend? Yeah, I think we, we covered everything. Like, in, uh, uh, just, can you can just like, keep you can, uploading you can, the video? You can ask me like in the chat, and if you have a question, feel free to ask me. No problem. Yeah. But, you know, I'm really happy for you that you decide to leave Islam and to accept the Messiah. And if you have any of your family want to talk to me, even if they don't want to talk in public we can speak in private I do that with many people you know so okay. you, you will not be the first so if you have your parents your mother your father sisters you know you can be with them you can join us in the conversation and uh, I will help him you know I will do my best understanding all right okay and, um, last question this one's a bit more push what, what pushed you to like uh, uh, study I have a degree like you say in your uh, Instagram get a degree in Islamic law and Sharia law. Well, you know, um, I live between Muslims, and there's nobody. Yeah. You know, they they challenge us, but we do not know what to say. And Christians, they are peaceful people. They are kind of people, like uh, they don't want to hurt the feeling of somebody, and they avoid talking about Islam because it's a violence cult, etc. Uh, for mm. me, I don't really care. Uh, what I care for is getting answers. So I decided to study this cult and uh, I accepted the challenge. Muslims challenged me since I was a kid. Yeah. I accepted the challenge yeah. and I defeated Islam. All right. Well, thank you so much, CP. So I hope, like, um, you know, everyone in the channel, peaceful people, because I don't want to get like messages, you know, how people are. Yeah, don't worry. Let's just ignore people, you know. Yeah. People call me names every day and those are a blessing for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, those are not the one who curse you and then for because of Jesus that is a blessing for you this is what Jesus said so when people they curse us discriminate us even they kill us that is going to be for your good not for theirs for this is will be a blessing for you you know yeah and he and he warned us about this so by accepting his name people they will wage war on you they will be hated by your family by your friends many people will deny you but what is the benefit jesus said what if the benefit if you won the whole world but you you, you lose yourself so we win ourselves and let us lose the world for the world we will have is better than what we have today yeah all right okay thank you Osman, for calling me and may the lord bless you and i will pray for you today before i before i finish before i i, I sleep today i will have a special prayer for you and to your family because we as a Christian, we should love and you should love your parents. You should love your family. Even though our Muslims never hate them. We are not yeah. Muslims. Remember, love the Muslims. Don't be hateful. Don't curse them. Doesn't matter. Yes, they are lost. And this is why, actually, we should even love them so we can be, uh, let us say, uh, the messengers of Christ, of love, to bring people yeah. to Him. All right? All right. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. So much, CP. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Well, I'm glad I added him. In the beginning, I thought like he's a person who's trying to make fun and he's you know lying to me or etc. Uh, because he he want to call me. I thought he want to debate me actually. But sometime, you know, we judge. Uh, don't judge the book by the cover. All right. So we are happy for Osman for leaving. 
the cult of Islam or Osama sorry Os Osama his name is Osama not Osama so uh, we are happy for Osama for leaving the cult of Islam and I hope more people they will leave more and more and I heard that Fadi who was arguing with me a few days ago he is like uh, almost out of Islam are you out of Islam Fadi did you decide to leave Islam Fadi or not yet why you don't call me Fadi What do you think, Fatih? I invite you today to denounce the devil and to accept the Messiah as your Lord. You argue with me, you don't believe me, but I think it's time for you, Fadi, to know the truth, and the truth will set you free. What do you say, Fadi? Anyway, call me only if you feel you want to do it, but I believe it's time for you to be brave, and to make a decision that Islam is not good for you, not good for anyone. I mean, look at this. Who can prove us wrong? Basim Jarrar. Okay, this is the answer of Fadi for me. I respect what you are saying, Fadi, no problem. Let us share your comment. Fadi saying, I will call you when I am ready already we spoke together right we spoke I think once or twice I'm trying to call Sheikh Basim Jarrar Basim Jarrar is a is a is a, a you know this guy he claimed that he's a big Sheikh but he's a potato and he will never dare even to speak to me and by the way I'm willing to speak to him even in Arabic if he dare you see because he might say I don't speak English no problem let him call me uh, you can ask him about Muhammad being poisoned, but about you call him to talk to me. I mean, <laughs> you sit and watch and see what will happen. This guy is Gerard, he claimed to be a big shot. <laughs> uh, if I get, if don't get the answer, I think it's the end. My friend, the answer he will give you is the same answer we showed you before. This is how we die. He will try to give you excuses. The prophet, he died as a murderer. <laughs> But this is another question. Why Allah did not save Muhammad from the Jews, yet he saved Jesus from the Jews? Why Allah, he says, if Muhammad fabricated in our name, we will cut his artery, and Muhammad die describing his death by cutting off his artery. Right? So... But always the Muslims they try to come with excuses, but they cannot. It's endless, you know. It's like a mountains of evidence that Muhammad is a false man. Call all the scholars you know; all of them they are liars. You've been in Aqsa and ask many sheikhs; they don't know. They gave me his number. Well, you know, uh, Fadi, as long as you are saying that Muhammad, he exposed himself and lie. So you just, you just denounce Muhammad. So what are you waiting for? Look what happened to Fadi. A week ago, he was upset from me. A week ago, he don't believe me. A week after, he just said, Muhammad clearly lied and exposed himself. What is left? Happy for you, Fadi. You are already out, my friend. You are already out. Well, anyway, you know, this is why our videos are important because sometimes you might, you don't know how many people accept the, you know, I mean, to leave the cult of Islam. You make the videos, people watch it, spread it all over. And then there's millions of people watch it, and you have no idea who accepted who's not. But I assure you, you see, Muslims they say to me, Why don't show yourself in the screen? Because they don't want me to show you the evidence. If I'm a person just makes stage speeches, you know, maybe I will get even more viewers if I am having my camera on me, even though I look scary, but still will bring more people to listen, or even because people like to see somebody in the camera, not the text. But what we do is a lot more powerful than somebody speaking in the camera 
because here we are showing proofs and evidence which nobody can deny nobody none of what I say is from my own none of what I say is from my book it is from your books your translation your website published printed translated by you what do you want more <laughs> what do you want more if this is not enough what what do you want more everything we have in the front of us is published printed given to us paid for it by you Muslims you donate to those website to publish you Muslims you donate for those websites you donate for them to publish and their publishing make you leave Islam what do you want more anyway guys I want to say thank you for being here I hope we will have more and more people leave Islam like uh, brother Osama it's funny he was a Muslim an hour ago and now I'm calling him brother and I hope Fadi too he will accept the Messiah very soon and already look like he is out of Islam but we are waiting for him to call us and denounce the devil so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you don't forget please to download the video share it with your friends and if you like to read more you can get my books from Amazon we have my books in many languages Spanish German Dutch Swedish French you name it so get my books read learn educate yourself and for sure I have thousands and thousands and thousands of videos all is for free so everybody can have them so thank you all thank you the Lord thank you our Lord for having uh, 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 Osama today accepting the Messiah uh, thank you uh, for showing him the truth and for us you know it's not me who showed you the truth it's the Lord always he he is presenting and all what he he said you knock at my door I will open for you so today what Osama he did he just knocked at the door of the Lord and he opened the door for him me myself I'm here just to share my knowledge but at the end of the day the one who free you is the Lord himself not a Christian Prince the truth my friend is the Messiah is not just a book and the truth will set you free this is what the Lord said and there's no better wisdom than the wisdom of the Lord so I'm happy for uh, Osama and I hope we will have Osama every day like Osama leaving the cult of Islam with this we pray that the Lord will help us to bring more people so we can be fishermen and women to bring people to Christ and the other day one of you he was laughing in the comment because I said sound like we get a fish well we get a fish my friend we Christians are fishermen and fisherwomen we have a duty to bring people to Christ so they can be saved and this is what I meant by the fish so thank you all for being here Christ is Lord and Islam is false thank you